Hello everyone. Welcome to Classitals Academic Reading Matching the Information Session. Today we will together we will solve some problems and we will look at the matching the information questions together. Let me see. Yes, hello everyone. Thank you for your welcomes. Hello. Let me share my screen with you so we can start slowly. Top, top, top. First, today, first, we will look at uh, some tips and strategies. Then we will look at questions and answers. Uh oh, I don't know what is this. I have prepared one paragraph, one, sec uh, one section one essay and one section two essay. First, we will see one section one essay, then we will see one section two essay. So we have two reading paragraphs. Yes, passages. We have two reading passages, sorry. Yes, first look at some tips and strategies. These questions can be a little bit not tricky, but they can be a little bit time consuming. So you can, so you can like, uh, you should basically, you should find which paragraph the statement is included in. So you will, see some statements you will see some for example some descriptions some facts some opinions some predictions some reasons something there will be a statement and you are asked to find in which paragraph you can find that statement i said here three to six statements but there can be more too as you will see in a minute in in our uh, reading se session in our reading section we have seven questions you are supposed to write the correct letter next to the statement this can be a little uh, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing too you will write the letters not like the paragraph you will write the paragraph letter so when you see for example let me show it to you as you can see, there are A, B, C. So you will see paragraphs like this. And you are going to write the letters next to the statements. The statements are not in the same order as the text. For example, for you will read something and maybe it can be at the last paragraph or it can be at the middle. So the answers will be mixed. And some paragraphs may not contain a statement. For example, you uh, you will see questions like this. Has seven paragraphs. Which paragraph contains the following information? Write the appropriate letter. And you may use any letter more than once. So you can use the letters the paragraphs more than once. So maybe one paragraph will involve two statement and some paragraphs, paragraphs may not have one statement at all. Yes. As I said, these kind of questions are a little bit time consuming because it is a little bit difficult to find that information in the paragraphs. So you may obtain, you may apply two strategies for this. In our strategy one, you can read the question first, then you can highlight the keyword and ideas. Then you can move on to the other types of questions, to other questions. First, you can read them. First, you can solve that questions. So you will have an idea about the paragraph, about the, like the sections. Then you can go back to this, this kind, this type of questions and do them. 
for the strategy two, you can read the questions to understand their meanings. You can spend time on analyzing the questions and you can spend time on the uh, questions. You can choose some keywords to help you. Then you can go to the paragraphs. You can go to the reading. Then you, you can find the answer. Always look for keywords. Uh, use, use, do not read the whole passage. Use the skimming and uh, scanning. Use the keywords to find your information. And once you find the keywords, read those sentences, not the whole text, carefully to see if they match with the statement. Yes. It will be clearer when we look at the questions together. And keep in mind, the statements can be detailed in a paragraph rather than included in the main idea. Do not confuse this type with matching the headings. The, we are not looking for the main idea. We are looking for any information here. That's why it is matching information question. Still, you can guess from the main idea of a paragraph, of course. And we will continue like this too. We will try to guess. We will try to find the our statement for locating the main idea. Some statements are harder to find than others. Skip them and keep them in mind while looking for the others. Now, let me continue with our section one questions. It is tickling and laughter. It is tickling and laughter subject. Okay, now we know that. It says questions one to seven. The reading passage has seven paragraphs. Which paragraph contains the following information? Write the appropriate letter in the boxes one to seven. And you may use any letter more than once. So we should look for this too. Okay, let me see. Location of a brain section. Wow. Essential to the recognition of jokes. And it says here, location of a brain section. So it is a little bit specific. It doesn't say location somewhere in the brain, but it says location of a brain section. It doesn't say brain section. It says location of a brain section. So maybe I can pay attention to that one. Two. Laughter enhance immunity. Immunity, immunity is the the your body, your your system that protects you from getting ill. Immune system. Three individual differences and the appreciation of humor. So it talks about the individual differences in people's sense of humor. Four parts of the brain responsible for a tickling reflex. If I were you, I will choose reflex and of course the brain and being responsible as my keywords. Neuropsychological mechanism by which humor and laughter works. So yes, in this one, we will see lots of brain and neuropsychological mechanisms. These are my favorite subjects. The connection between tickling and nerve fibers. Okay. Patients with emotional disorders. And I have this one. I have patients, emotional, and disorder. These are my keywords, and I will look into them. Now, I am sending you the... Uh, not here. Yes. I'm sending you the informations. So from here, you can, we can look at them together. Now, this is how I will do this question type. 
I have some information, then I have a general idea of it. Location of a brain section essential to, essential to the recognition of jokes, lottery and hence immunity, individual differences and the appreciation of humor, parts of the brain responsible for tickling reflex, neuropsychological mechanism by which humor and laughter work, the connection between tickling and nerve fibers, and patients with emotional disorder. So I will wait 30 seconds for you to read the questions to read the information actually. Sometimes I understand better when I read it myself. Okay. I will go over the uh, passages. I will go over the paragraphs. And I will try to match them with my informations. Because if I first read the questions, and maybe my answer for the question one is G. And for this one, I should read the whole text. So I will first read the A, then I will go one by one. We will try to match them. Okay, let me see. If the fingers of an outstretched folding your torso get do not get tickled, but inevitable occurs. You are tickled and hysteric to chuckle, but blah blah blah. Why do we laugh when we are tickled? Okay, this is my introductory uh, paragraph. Can I see anything about it? Do you see? Mm -mm. We have what much more complex sentences than that. Tickling is caused by sensor sensation across skin. Mm. Light sensation, most of the time, giggling. If a feather, blah blah. Heavy laughter is caused by someone or something, particular area. The spot tickled, I often feed, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Zotterman from Karolinska Institute has found that tickling sensation involves signals from nerve fibers. These nerve fibers are associated with pain and touch. Also discovered, uh, the, the discovered not only with the nerve fib fibers, but also with a sense of touch because people who have lost pain sensation still laugh and tickled. Why? Questions. What part of the brain? Blah, blah. Questions. In here, do you see any information that can relate, I can relate with the D. Let's do it that way. In which one you can relate B? Which information you can relate with the paragraph B? Six. Very good. I have one, two, three answers. Very good. Now I have four answers. Don't forget this is just an this is just a um 
question and answer session, it will be different, of course, in the real exam time, but it is, it is important for you to develop yourself. Yes, I think so too. Yes, when I'm doing it, I, so the connection between tickling and nerve fibers. I'm writing here B, as, as I am proceed, if I see anything else, you can always change your answer to, but this is very good. Let's continue. C. Dut, dut, dut. It requires coordination of many muscles. And try to see that you are giving any you are given an information. You are not given an, an example or something. These are core information. There is like pure info here. Very good. Loss will also increase blah 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 and provide a boost to dying immune system. Hmm. Can laughter improve health? It may be a good way for people to relax because blah, blah. Human tests have found some evidence that humorous videos and tapes can reduce feeling of pain, prevent negative stress, and boost brain's biological battle against infections. Very good. So I can... I'm, I'm seeing that lottery, yes. I'm seeing that you are good. Maybe I can move on a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight answer, not bad. We are doing good. Let's go to D. Research, believe, let me send you the questions again. because I'm worried that maybe you can't see it. Believe that process humor is in love. Three main brain components. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Oof. Preliminary results indicate that the humor processing pathway includes the parts of the frontal lobe brain area. Interesting. Important for cognitive processing. The supplementary motor area is important for movement and the nucleus blah blah is associated with pleasure. Investigations support the notion that parts of the frontal lobe are involved in humor. I think this is I think this is tricky. You are saying one. Subjects' brain were imagined, imaged, sorry, while they were listening to jokes. An area of the frontal lobe was activated only when they thought a joke was funny. In a study that compared healthy individuals with people who have who had damage to their frontal lobes, the subject with damaged frontal lobes were more likely to choose the wrong punchlines to written jokes and didn't laugh or smile as much as as much at funny cartoons or jokes. Okay, let's say one. Location of a brain section. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's continue. E. Oof. Let me see. Even though we may have known about the parts of the brain are responsible of humor, it is very interesting, really. Why we are not 
tickle when we'll tickle the other text. Darwin speculated something. Another person touching is a sensitive spot. Some scientists believe that laughing caused by tickling is a built-in reflex even babies have. The information sent to our spinal cord and brain should be exactly the same. Very good. There is some evidence that the cerebellum may be involved. Oh. Investigation suggests that during self tickling, the cerebellum tells an area called blah blah that sensation to expect and that dampens the tickling sensation. Let me see the answers. Very good. Very, very good. Yes. In here, <sighs> sorry, sorry. Yes, parts of the brain responsible for the tickling reflex. I will say that too. Three and four, but E, individual differences and appreciation of humor. Hmm. I think we can look at look for it for different things. Let's go to. Ooh, I have so many different answers. At the end, maybe you can. Guys, maybe you can note your uh, answers too. So at the end, we can look at them together and which answer you did wrong. Let's try this one too. E, I'm continuing from F. <clears throat> Damage to any part of brain. Mm, I remember it from somewhere. EEG, they measured the brain activity of 10 people exposed to humor stably. How quickly our brain recognizes the incongruity that deals with most humor and attached abstract, abstract meaning to its determiners when we laugh. However, different people find different jokes funny. Hmm. That can be due to a number of factors, including the difference in Differences in personality, intelligence, mental state, and probably mood. Hmm. Let's see. But according to the Dirks, the majority of people recognize when a situation is meant to be humorous. In a series of experiments, he noticed that several patients recovering from brain injuries couldn't distinguish between something funny and something not. Emotional disorders. Emotional disorders. Okay, I will write here F, but I want to write here F too. Let's continue with the G. Doctor something of medicine said, when we hear a joke, our neurons get tickled when we hear a joke. The brain's tuny bone is located at the right frontal lobe just above the right eye and appears critical to our ability to recognize a joke. 
I will give you some time to look at this question. Let me see. Let me send you the questions again. Mm -hmm. Someone said G to question one, two. Dr. Bla gave his patients MR scores trying to find out what part of the brain is actually active while telling a punchline of a joke as opposed to the rest of the joke and funny cartoons in blah, blah, blah that are not funny. The joke tickled the frontal lobes. The activity also solved the blah, blah part which is likely related to our feeling of mirth after hearing a good joke and our addiction to humor. While his research was about humor, the results could help the answer to solutions to depression. The parts of the brain that are active during humor are actually abnormal in patients with depression. Eventually, brain scans might be used as test patients with depression and other mood disorders. The research may also explain why some stroke victims lose their sense of humor or suffer from other personality changes. The same part of the brain also associated with social and emotional judgment and planning. Let me get the answers. For the seven, we are using now G. I'm deleting this. Is it okay? I will write here G. Because it says patients feed emotional disorders. But in my paragraph F, it says seven patients recovering from brain injuries could could not distinguish it. So there is a there is a real brain problem here. They are they are like the it is like the not the mental but is a it's a physical condition. But in paragraph G, it says people with depression. So it is an emotional disorder. The other one is a physical disorder. It is really about the brain. So it makes my answer G very good. And what do you think about the question one? Again, let's look at it. Is it D or G? Location of a brain section. Okay, let me see. You are thinking it D. Sorry, I'm skimming it. Mm -hmm. Humor processing pathway includes part of the frontal lobe of frontal lobe brain area. Parts of the frontal lobe are involved in humor. Okay. Okay. I think this is location indicate. Hmm. Now I see it, Josephine. Actually, it is talking about the actual location of it. Let me show you in the paragraph G. Oh, sorry, one second.
the brain's tunny bone is located at the right frontal lobe just above the right eye and appears to critical critical to our ability to recognize a joke these are my all um yes my all keywords are here recognize a joke located brain part blah blah so that's why it makes my answer g uh oh neurophysical mechanism by which humor and laughter work should how did i miss that hmm i missed that because i think we did yes because we put d to the one Huh. Researchers believe that we process humor and laughter through a complex part of brain activity that encompass, encompasses three main brain components. I couldn't find the answer for question five. Because in paragraph D, Actually, it is telling a process. It's telling me a mechanism that behind the laughter and humor. Let me see. Laughter called important for cognitive progressing. An area of frontal loop was activated. Actually, the whole passage is about the neuropsychological mechanism that is responsible from humor and laughter. Is it clear? Is it okay? You can see the you can see the details here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Yes. Preliminary results indicated the humor processing post frontal lobe area important for cognitive processing. The whole thing is about the neuropsychological process of it. Okay. G C F E D B G. How was it? This question type is a little bit difficult. And it is like, actually, the the process is a little bit suffering. Yes, it is a little bit challenging, but I think, I think so too. I like this type of questions too. Yes, it is time consuming, but do not worry because when you see this type of questions, usually do, do not trust this one but usually in the following questions they will give you some much more shorter questions because they they know that this type of questions take time yes to not to confuse the like the paragraphs and the ideas you need to read the whole passage And because I am telling you the process, I am telling you how am I doing it. Because that I am explaining, it takes more time than the usual. But I am I am trying to make you make you understand that how I I would solve this type of question. You can you can of course you can choose your own style. Let's go to the next question. Researcher on the Three crown. Hmm. Researcher. Yes. Um, crown is like the okay crown. We have the crown. 
But in here, I will read the first sentence. The forest canopy, the term given to the aggregated crown of the trees in a forest. So it is like the uh, the top of the trees. They are talking about the top of the trees in the rainforest that come together and they call it the, like the crown of the forest. Like the like a like a mosque crown. Uppermost part of the tree. Thank you, Amsa. Yes, it is better. Yes. Okay. The scientific significance of committing canopy study. Hmm. So why apply why working on canopy study is important? Oops, sorry. The reading passage has seven paragraphs. Which paragraph contains the following contains in the following information? Write the correct letter A to F in the boxes one to five. In here, it doesn't say me you can use the N letter more than once. So in here, I will use every letter just once. And I have I have seven paragraphs and five questions. So I want to use some paragraphs. The scientific significance of committing canopy study. Let me show you, let me send you the questions too. Here. Oopsie. Here. Yes. The first academic research attempt mentioned getting to the top canopy. Of course. This is nice. I think this will be easier. Uh, this is from the reading passage too, by the way. But I think this will be easier because it says the first academic research. Research. I think this is very specific. Three, the overview idea of the forest canopy and the problem of understanding the forests. The overview idea of forest canopy. This is nice. Maybe it will be like the... Maybe it will be from the paragraph A or B, I don't know, but I'm just like guessing. The recognition for a long-term effect and cooperation. Mm, cooperation, this is nice. Long-term effect, I can use it as a key keyword too. And innovation as accessing the treetop. Treetop, yes, this is it. Which proved to be an ultimate solution till now. This is nice too, I have many keywords here. And innovation, okay. The ultimate solution till now. This is nice too. I can use them as my um, keywords. Let's go to do paragraphs. Okay, let's keep in mind. And I will give you again a minute to read the uh, information. Let's start. <clears throat> the first canopy, the term given to the crowns of trees. Du, du, du. Tempers it unique to the forest roof. We are dealing with the richest, less, least known, most threatened, habitat on a herd. A collection of groups undertaking research into this loof world. The problem with our understanding of forests is that nearly all the information we have been gleaned from just two meters above the soil. And yet we are dealing with trees that grew to heights of 60 meters and in or in the case of the tallest red wood, 112 meters. It is like doctors trying to treat humans by only looking at their feet.
Oops, I have many different ideas. For the A, we are saying three. Hmm, okay. I understand. What is it? The overview idea of the forest canopy and the problem of understanding the forest. Yes, we have we have a metaphor for this too. They are saying like doctors using looking at the feet and we are looking at the forest like this. So this is nice. Let's continue. B. Tropical rainforest reaches diversity, complex interrelationship. Diversity lives in, in the canopy. Du, 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 du. Estimated blah blah percent in one in ten of all vascular plants are canopy dwellers, and about 20 25 percent of all interbiche are thought to be unique to the canopy. Maybe we want to use it. We don't know. Let me send you the questions again. This is a little bit tricky. I will continue from here. The first Britain. Britain is the British people. British citizen. Not maybe not the citizen. The first something. So I will look at this fear. The first serious effort didn't begin. I didn't begin until 1929. The local university, blah, blah, still ended up with the help of locals when it comes to building an observation platform. It was a successful expedition at the same time, despite the close. <laughs> I'm just skimming the other parts. It took a balloon in the middle to canopy from the above. Balloon, small purpose built airship. We suddenly had a mobile system that could move around the treetops. We were no longer built, blah, blah, Mitchell. Two, very good. 2D. I will put here C. Let's look at D. From this, yes, it is. The first academic research. And these are the like the, the first series effort, the Oxford University expedition. So it says Oxford University, so it is an academic. From there, we are, we are understanding that it is an academic something. I'm sending the questions again. Oopsie. Let's continue. D. The raft is floating, essentially an island in the treetops. Telling me what is this? A loving sampling. Hmm. The loo hexagon, the similar tradition balloon. Kevlar mesh, I don't know. Ooh 
not very effective, of course. Hmm. Balloons can usually only be used early in the morning. <laughs> Maybe D is for nothing. Let's continue. Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. Mm, I, they, are, they have very nice monkeys to chimpanzees, whatever. Smith had the idea of using untethered balloons, but cranes allow scientists to study. Cranes beat any other excess mode, they're cheap, reliable, and fast which is essential for comparative measurement across species. Mm. For reasons of convenience, cranes are generally close to the cities or research centers. Leipzig, Leipzig. Leipzig University has a crane not far from the town, the location allowing scientists to study the effect of City pollens on forest. We are saying five free E. Let's write it. Let's see F. It appears that the rest of the scientific community has now come around Michel's way of thinking. I think most scientists told him mad to consider such a complex field station at first, says the Mac Lohman, director of gardens. However, we are all come to realize that a combination of methods, a long-term approach to ecological studies and a collaborative approach are absolute best way to advance canopy science. A permanent canopy field station would allow that to happen. A dedicated group of canopy scientists start working together and a wide range of tools are available for them to get into the truth. Now we are finally on our way towards a true understanding of the least known terrestrial habitat. Do you think so too? I think so too. I will put recognition for a long term effect incorporation to F because they are talking about this one. And for this, an innovation accessing the three top, which proved to be ultimate solution till now, is E because in here they are talking about the cranes. Crane speed and other access mode. Let's find the one, the scientific significance of ca committing canopy study. And we have used, let me see, we have used F, E, D, we have D. 
بيد في اف سي We have B or D. Let me see B. Let's let's see the B first. Tropical rainforest, rich ecosystem. Just I'm letting you to read. Okay, let me see. It says the scientific significance of cometing canopy study. So we can ask ourselves, why is it important to, uh, to apply canopy studies? In here, it says tropical rainforest comprises the reaches of the ecosystems, complex inter interrelationship, and a great, great deal of that diversity lives at up in the canopy. An estimated 70-90% of life in the rainforest exists in the trees. One in 10 of all vascular plants are canopy dwellers and about 20-20% blah, 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 unique to the canopy. Actually, this is why the, psych this is why the co committing canopy uh, studies are important. But in the paragraph D, it is not telling me why applying canopy something is important. It is talking about the ups and downs, the pros and cons of the balloon system. So it makes my answer B. Oof, let me see. B, C, A, F, E. B, C, A, F, E. And this is the end of my questions. I know that it is a little bit difficult. But some questions will be. Think of it. Oh. Think of it that way. Explain mine. But okay, of course. Um, think of it that way. When you have solved this question, you will know the whole passage, basically. So you will do the other questions easier let me see the scientific significance of cometing canopy study okay i have this one and i couldn't find it anywhere in the text i wasn't sure so i am i am changing my way of thinking and i am asking why committing why committing oopsie it's got smaller why committing canopy study is important. I am asking me that way because I couldn't find the answer. Why is it important? And I am looking the whole of the text, but I left it to the last. And until then, I have just two options left, left uh, B and D. And in here, it says me how important, thank you, Abby, 
how important, how valuable is the tropical forest and the like the forest crane crown canopy? Why the canopies are important? But in my paragraph D, it doesn't say me anything about it. They are telling me how difficult to reach to the top of the trees. But I am skimming it. They are talking about a technique to reach. Depending on the weather, the cost of it, Leipzig. But I don't have any information about it. Any information about why is it important to conduct uh, canopy studies. Exist in the forest, you mean answer. And yes, I will be very glad if you can fill out our form. If you have any suggestions, please write to it. So we can develop ourselves with you. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Because I will be gone in three minutes. Because this was the end of my session. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Yes, B is not a clear answer, but it is an answer. You can do the survey directly on the screen, of course, with your things. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining the class those lessons. I am very glad to see you. I hope that I, we can meet again, let me see, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. And from the library, from the class tools library, I will upload these materials to our library in an hour too. So from here, you can find, you can go and do the questions on yourself too. Thank you very much too. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. It was really uh, amazing class. It is challenging questions that uh, the way you uh, taught us is like really uh, nice. No, thank, thank you, you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too. Thank you very much. I hope that this was informative for you because I know that this will be difficult. Even the part one questions are difficult in this one. Okay. Thank you very much for joining then. Have a nice day, everyone.